We'll now be looking at how to use grids to snap objects in Inkscape. Right now if I try to line up the bottom of these two shapes just by eyeballing it, you can see it's not too easy and when I zoom in their bottoms are not going to be perfectly aligned. So, in order to fix this we first have to create a grid that we can snap objects to the points on the grid. To do this we're going to click on File, Document Properties, and then we want to click on the Grids tab. We have to create a new grid. The two types of grids are a rectangle grid, which looks like that, and an axonometric grid. For this example, we're just going to use a simple rectangle grid and create a new one. When you open it up, there's several options you can experiment with. You can change the spacing on the grid, and you can also change the origin point. Zero, zero is located in the bottom left of the canvas, so we can change the origin point of the grid. Once we have the settings how we want it, we also have to make sure we have all three of these boxes checked off. And then we can exit out. You'll notice when I, I first turned on the grid, the shapes did not move. They stayed in the exact same place they were before the grid existed. But now, once I move a shape around, it has to snap to a grid point. I can't just place it where I want. But, I can also now line up the bottom of these shapes perfectly. And now when I zoom in, you'll see that they are perfectly aligned. One thing to keep in mind when using the grid tool is wherever I click on the shape, the closest corner is the one that will be snapped. So if I click on the top right corner of the shape, the top right corner will be the one that it will be snapped to the grid. Once I have my shape how I want it, if I want to draw a new shape, it'll also have to snap to a grid point. So if I do not want that to happen, I can go back File, Document Properties, and disable the grid. The grid still exists, it's just disabled for now, so nothing will be snapped. Now I can draw a new shape wherever I want to. If I need to use the grid again, I can go to File, Document Properties, and re-enable it. Now I can line this shape up however I want to as well.